All right, just today, a quick tutorial on Ideogram. They just released their version 2.0. And as you can see in the background, it's really amazing. It's ama particularly amazing with text following. So finally, we are able to produce some really great text uh, onto our images. Uh, give me a couple seconds here in the background. You can already see some examples. Let's test out and compare version 1 and 2 also. And let me show you how to actually use the product. So you just log in either with your Gmail account, with your normal email or whatever way you prefer, right? I usually like to do it via email. Let's set up. We are Tutorials Modern. All right, create our profile with the username and name that you want. It's not that important. We have some daily credits for the slow queue. Slow is still anyways quite fast in comparison, but you know, these paid plans that you can use, you know, uh, these generations are public. So if you want, you can make them private with a paid plan. And you know, there's a couple more premium features, but let's get right into it, start creating. Here you can already see in kind of what is a gallery of other creations from other people, what they have done. You can already see the quality. You can see what it does. It's really good with humans. It's cool with abstract styles. It's cool with, you know, 3D stuff, you know, uh, even logos, as you can see here and here. The good thing for logos nowadays, it's, it's actually following the uh, um, the text or doing text right, which is pretty amazing to be honest. Um, let me show you also some examples, which I personally also find pretty amazing. Um, also, you know, there's some feed cool features that they have here. You have the generation box where you can start to generate. We want to describe what we see, right? Our prompt here is magic prompt, which optimizes if we have it on auto or on. It optimizes our prompt if you are not the best person in prompting, or if you are just you know lazy or you know I am also <laughs> I don't like to prepare all the prompts perfectly, so auto or on is perfect for me. You know we can use the aspect ratio if it's for like a short format, one to one or like sixteen to nine. Let's for use so example use sixteen to nine visibility. You know casually on public you can do it on private if you have a paid plan in comparison the models the first model ever released a beta model that they had version 1.1 uh, 1.0 and now version 2.0 which we are going to test right uh, also another cool thing is you can choose a color palette that it should use right you can create a custom let's use um, blue one for example for our generation um, Rendering, yeah, we can set it on fast and quality, right? If we have premium, we can use a seed and a negative prompt also. So let's do something quite simple, but also cool. A uh, uh, stunning YouTube thumbnail for, for uh, an audience clickbaity and with CTA and text and title how to use ideogram. For example, right? Uh, da, 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 da. It's for our AI tutorial channel. As an example, so you can pretty detailed, you know, describe what you want. Let's give it a couple of seconds. We are in the queue already, like we got 70%. We wait maximum of 30 seconds. In this time, let me show you some of the platform store or some examples here. Let me go through it. I really like, you know, the quality that it has the 3D versions, the prompt following, the text also, right? Especially the text is what makes it so amazing and people are bluffed with it. Oh, here we go, by the way, it was completed. How to use Ideogram. That's an amazing uh, thumbnail. This is great as well. Maybe I don't like this here and this, but we could prompt better, right? Was my, my fault. This is also pretty cool. I guess we could use this straight away. Um, and this is also pretty cool. I don't know what those are, but those are pretty amazing. Also, make sure it was using this color palette. If we make it to automatic, right? Let's try the same with automatic and let's just remove this because the magic prompt will anyways do its magic, right? <laughs> so yeah, we are again in the queue, right? It's just waiting a bit, as you know. We are going again to explore. 
And by the way, it's also really great in you know, having detailed imagery and text even on the newspaper here, for example, right? And even on the vodka page, which is quite funny. Um, yeah, nearly finished. A couple more seconds for the generation. Let's look through some text also cool here for, I guess this was like a t-shirt design or something. Um, so yeah, what was what's the outside here? How to use a, a neogram? Learn now. Great thumbnail. This also great thumbnail. Not bad at all. Maybe too many people, but you know, it's really good in text. As, and if you prompt better than I just did, you know, you can even you know expect way better results, right? So it's really great in prompt following, in, in real world understanding, and especially the capabilities in text. So make sure to try it out for free. You know, they even have an API, which uh, is quite cool. It's not expensive. So a um, couple cents, I would say eight to 10 cents per generation. So yeah, give it a go, test it out, have fun, and thank you very much for watching.